Hi, and welcome to Lunch with Lisa. And today, we're gonna make mini mac in a bowl and a skinny breakfast skillet. It's lunch with Lisa. Hi, I'm Lisa Long, and I'm here to bring you quick and easy healthy meals. The same meals that I used to lose 30 pounds this year. And I wanted to share with you just how quick and easy it is to make healthy meals at home and you can do it. So let's get started. I have a hot pan here heating up and I have a pound of 93% Angus ground beef. And we're just gonna drop this in. We'll start cooking. I'm making this recipe for two since it is me and my son who eat together. I always like to double recipes that are made for one. And uh, yeah, it just makes me have to do less work and I still get to eat the food again. Or it just helps me share this healthy meal with my child. So it calls for two tablespoons of white onion and four tablespoons is a quarter of a cup. So I'm just gonna use a quarter of a cup. And I already have some chopped onion here. Just gonna sprinkle it in and save the rest for my omelet in a minute. You don't need to add any oil to the pan because the meat has enough fat in it to kind of render out a little bit. So I'm just gonna let this brown and cook all the way through. So that's pretty much all the cooking there is for this meal. The rest is just slapping together ingredients. That's how quick and easy this thing is. Like if you wanna even cook some ground beef for the week, like my friend Kristen, Hey Kristen. My friend Kristen likes to cook her meat in bulk about once or twice a week and that way she all she has to do is prep the veggies. It just saves her on time. Beef does not taste good unless you season it so I'm going to add some salt and pepper. So I like to use kosher salt because I like to sprinkle it with my fingers. It's uh, something I learned from Alton Brown <laughs> a long time ago and I just keep doing it. And nothing beats fresh cracked pepper. It's just way better than the store-bought stuff so I've always used fresh cracked pepper. Now I realize the recipe does not call to season the beef but I have to season my beef. <laughs> Everybody likes a good seasoned beef. It just doesn't taste good if it's not a little salty. All right that looks pretty good so I'm gonna turn this off set it aside. All right so I have a head of romaine and I'm just gonna split it between both of us. It calls for three cups of romaine. And I've rinsed this off in the sink so it has a little bit of water dripping from it. <laughs> Three cups of lettuce is quite a bit. So I have these two big bowls here that I can dump this salad right into. So this calls for shredded lettuce. So I just need to chop this up nice and thin. Now I'll give it a couple lengthwise chops so those pieces aren't too big because size does matter. That looks so fresh and green. Definitely wait until the day you're gonna make these to go buy your lettuce, because limp lettuce is just no good. Limp anything is just no good. <laughs> That's all the chopping that I have to do. I think I've pre-chopped everything else because I just had some veggies on hand. I'm gonna get rid of this cutting board. Okay, so now we're gonna make the dressing. It calls for two tablespoons of light Thousand Island dressing. So four tablespoons is doubled, which is a quarter of a cup. Then in the Thousand Island dressing goes an eighth of a teaspoon of onion powder, but doubling it, that's a quarter teaspoon. And I think I used half a teaspoon because it's just kind of yummy. I like it oniony. It calls for white vinegar and I have white wine vinegar. I mean, I have some other white vinegar, but this is fancy. I'm just gonna use it. Just a couple shakes. And I can stir this together. The white vinegar just kind of thins it out a little bit and it gives it that Big Mac flavor. So you can pre-dress your salad if you want to. I like to kind of just pour the dressing on top. Now we're gonna split the meat with the two bowls. You can measure your meat out if you're in weight loss or just know that about a pound is gonna render you down to about 10 ounces of meat and that will give you five ounces each. Maybe a little bit more than five ounces. Okay, so I have my meat on top of my lettuce. Now all I have to do is dress it up. So I'm gonna pour half my dressing on top. Now, like I said, you could toss this with the lettuce beforehand 
if you want to incorporate it into the whole thing. I kind of like to see it on top. Just gives you that visual of it being in there. And it's really important to love the sight of your food. It's exciting, right? You get to see it and then taste it. And it's just this whole world of flavor. So two tablespoons of reduced fat cheddar cheese. So that's about an eighth of a cup. Just sprinkle that right on top. Yum. One teaspoon of some sesame seeds, because you can't forget the sesame seeds on the bun, right? And uh, we're not doing a bun, but we can still use the seeds because they're low glycemic and good for you and have some protein and stuff in them. And then about one ounces of some dill pickles. And I found these hamburger dill fresh packed pickle chips. Oh, I love fresh packed because they're still super crispy and they just have like a fresh flavor to them. They taste like the pickles I make from my garden, which didn't have a good cucumber crop this year. But last year I had so many cucumbers I didn't even know what to do with all of them. I mean, I thought of some things to do with them, but I really ended up making pickles. <laughs> I'm just gonna put these on here. Super pretty like. One ounce is a serving, it's about four chips. Maybe one more, because I'm gonna eat one. <laughs> and that is it. See how quick and easy that was? And this is such a nice, healthy meal. And your kids will probably really like it. I know my child loves this meal. Let's taste it. Mm-hmm. I might get a pickle chip with some meat and some lettuce and cheese and some of that dressing. Mm-hmm. When my jaw clicks, you know it's good. <laughs> oh yeah. I gotta take another bite. Mm -hmm. It's like a fast food restaurant at home. Home cooking made super fast and tasting super good. Like it's better. It's better than a Big Mac. You cannot beat this. This is so good. Definitely, definitely try this out and let me know how it goes in the comments. Now let's try Kyle's recipe. And this recipe is brought to you by Tasty Shreds. Tasty Shreds is run by Kyle and his wife and they're amazing people. Kyle was sick and tired of being sick and tired and overweight. He went on a mission to lose the weight but still enjoy the food that he eats and he made his own cookbook in the process and one of these recipes is from that cookbook that he sent me so thanks Kyle for sending me this cookbook. And this one fits right up my alley. It is low in carbs, high in protein, and low in calories. I'm going to spray just a little bit of oil in this because I don't trust that this is going to be completely stick free. This pan gives me trouble, so you don't have to put oil in the pan. But when you do, it's nice to use a spray bottle. And if you don't want to buy the aerosol bottles, this one's pretty cool. I like it. It builds up air pressure inside, so it sprays pretty misty like. It's down in my Amazon store so you can buy this there if you don't know where to find it yourself. So for Kyle's recipe he does kind of have everything weighed out just so we're sure to get the right calories and he calls for 150 grams of egg whites. So I have some egg whites here and I have some egg whites that I didn't need yesterday when I made some eggnog so I'm gonna pull those out real quick from the fridge. So if you don't have a kitchen scale I highly recommend to get one if you're trying to lose weight just so you can track how much you're eating, right? That's why we're overweight in the first place. We did not track what we were doing. So it takes change to change, right? You have to change what you're doing to change your results. Okay, so that's 66 grams. Let's see if I have enough in this guy. 129 grams and close enough. There we go, 150 grams. So my pan's nice and hot. Break up those egg yolks from last night. Just gonna let that cook on low. Then I'm gonna dice up three slices of Canadian bacon. I'm gonna toss it right on top. I'm gonna sprinkle it in there. Poke that hole. There we go. I'm gonna throw some salt and pepper on this. Now he says to kind of mix it around, but I kind of like to leave it as an omelet. But you have to cook it really low if you want that. You don't want it to burn. And I never thought to use these Velveeta slices, but they're actually super delicious. And they're already portion controlled for you. So you can just throw this on there. You don't even have to break it up if you don't want to. Just slap the whole thing on there. <laughs> Let me check to see if it's sticking. Uh, a little bit. Like I said, if you get your pan hot enough, it usually won't stick too bad. But you could break this up. 
still pretty wet on top, so I'm just gonna go ahead and mix this in. Since it is sticking a little bit, my omelet won't be perfect. Oh, it smells good already. Yummy, this will be so good in the morning. And so quick and easy, like super. And then of course, having a nice contrasting color to put your food against. Yummy, look at that. Okay, so that's cooked up pretty well. I'm gonna toss this on the plate and then I'm gonna cook down some veggies to put on top. Just gonna use the same skillet, but I'm gonna put a little bit of oil down. Or you can use a little bit of butter. And here I have some zucchini, some tomato, and some jalapeno. I'm just gonna cook down with some of the onion that I had earlier. And of course, I'm gonna add a little bit of seasoning to this, a little bit of salt and pepper. I'm gonna turn the heat up to just cook it a little bit quicker. You really don't need to cook these veggies down a whole lot. You could throw them on raw if you wanted to as well. I'm just giving them a quick little saute. That's it. Then we have some non-fat Greek yogurt. Yes, it's Greek strange yogurt. I made sure. I actually went to the store today. This costs a little bit more than the rest of them, but it only has 90 calories and it only has five grams of carbs. The rest had six or more and one container had up to 110 calories per six ounce, um, per, oh shoot per three cup serving, or maybe it was, I don't know if it was a cup. Huh, I didn't look at the serving sizes. <laughs> this one was 90 calories per serving, and the rest were higher. So I got this one, even though it costed just a little bit more, because I'm worth it, and so are you. So two teaspoons of this non-fat Greek yogurt to kind of finish this off. Yum, it's like sour cream, but better for you. <laughs> I do have some low-fat sour cream though. 250 calories, 43 grams of protein. Dude, that's awesome. And if you needed a little bit more calories or fat, add some avocado, that'd be delicious. All right, so let's have a taste. This would look good with some cilantro on it, some parsley, just make it look pretty, you know? Mm. Why do you taste so good? It's so simple, but it is so delicious. Kyle, you're onto something. Definitely make meals that you love to eat. I'll tell you, I kind of selfishly started making this channel just to force myself to make all these meals. Because I get stuck in a rut sometimes too. I get stuck making the same meals over and over and over again and I get tired of it. And then what do I do? I go out and buy some junk food because I just want that flavor in my mouth. And those meals aren't always nutritious. So the trick to losing weight, the trick to keeping it off is finding nutrient dense food. Nutrient dense, but not energy dense. And that's kind of what you have here. You have this high protein, got 250 calories, but look how much it is. It's a lot of food. Guess what you can do once you lose the weight? You can add stuff back in like bread. I started making my own sourdough bread and I am gonna cut off a slice and we're gonna have some bread with this breakfast. Now, it does take some time and effort to learn how to make sourdough bread, but honestly, it's worth it because when you buy sourdough bread in the store and it has a list of ingredients a mile long, that's not real sourdough bread. Real sourdough bread only has three ingredients, flour, water, and salt. That's it. And that's all is right here. I used yeast from the air or from the flour, and I cultivated my own starter. And this bread is amazingly chewy and crunchy, all of it. You can toast it, you can make sandwiches. You get to pick the flour. I'll use some artisan bread flour and whole wheat flour. And of course, you know, don't overdo it and eat a whole bunch, but this is so good. Mm hmm You don't even have to put anything on this bread, it's so good. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna show you my favorite thing to do with bread. Okay, with bread, I like to take some extra virgin olive oil Put that into a bowl. Then I like to take a really good balsamic vinegar. This is Kroger brand, but you know, just sprinkle that into the olive oil. You can take cracked, fresh cracked pepper. I'm gonna do a little bit. And then I found this za'atar seasoning. Perfect for bread dipping. Get this. I'll link it below if I can. Oh, I'm having more bread. <laughs> This bread turned out so good. And then I like to take my bread and just dip it in this. Oh, look at that. So good. Mmm. 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 Macaroni with the chicken strips. Ah! 
It's so good. Definitely try this. This is so good. Mm -hmm. I can't stop eating it though. That's the only bad thing about it. All right, you guys, go check out Kyle's cookbook. I'll link it down below. Go make the mini mac in a bowl. It's super tasty. Recipes down below. Definitely try making a, your own sourdough bread. I will tell you, I learned how to make it from two people on YouTube. Brian Lagerstrom and the bread coat guy. Like putting their stuff together helped me figure it out. All right, you guys, comment down below if you try these and let me know how it goes. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the flip side. It's lunch with Lisa. Food. Sourdough bread is where it's at. I just kind of ate too much of it today. Really can't stop. Now I got a mess to clean, but I'm okay with that because I've been doing it anyways. If you would like to buy me a coffee, link is down below. You can just support me. Give me a little donation here and there. It helps so much so that I can keep making more content for you guys. Also, if you would like to become a patron and receive something for your donation, head on over to my Patreon and check out my tiers. See if anything fits.